Hi, I'm Matt with bedremotes.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to convert one of our bed bases. We've got here an older generation model where let's say you lost a remote or it broke and you need to update it, but there's no longer a replacement remote available. We've got three different kits along with some specialty kits of a universal option. And today we're gonna to show you how to do that and how quick and easy it is. So first thing we wanna do is get the mattress off to the side. Usually I find the best way to do that is just to go from the edge of the mattress and tip that up. If you have a wall or something, you can kind of lean it up against there. And then on the bed base, if you lift it from the foot or the head, it's just going to fold up on you and be kind of weird. So you always want to go from the side. And typically, if you just get your fingers under there, keeping the weight on the floor, pull it towards you a little bit, and just angle it back enough where it's steady and stable. This is going to be the best way to access one of these control boxes. So. Underneath your bed, um, you'll find a couple of actuator motors that'll control the head and the foot. You might have a third for a lumbar or a pillow tilt, maybe a fourth. And then you'll have usually a couple of massage motors if you have a premium kit or you might not have any massage motors based on your option. You'll also have a control box that'll usually be screwed underneath your bed somewhere in the middle. We've taken this one off just to show you a little bit easier how to access it. but. Uh, in general, you're gonna have a couple of head position motors, head and foot, a couple of massage motors. Um, this is an old Tempur-Pedic Premier, so you'll actually have three massage motors, which are green, and then a head, which is white, and a red foot motor. But again, that'll vary from base to base. So the first thing that we'll want to do is unplug the bed from power. You'll have a power cord going to the wall usually. Just pull that out, it's all on, these units, in order to convert, we're gonna be working with DC current motors, which is important because if it's an AC high voltage and something were cut and then fell loose, um, you'd get electrocuted or it could actually kill you. So the very first thing we wanna do is if you look on any of your actuator motors, you'll see these stickers. And as long as you've got something in the 24 to 29 volt DC current range on there, that tells you that your motors are new enough to where they can be converted. Uh, probably the last 25 years, almost all beds, it's now a government mandate that they have to be DC current. If you're confused at all, you can check with us on the control box. It'll also say DC current and you'll have an AC-DC adapter for a power source. And if you read on the back, it'll tell you it converts the current from AC 110, 115 from your wall to a 24, 29 volt. So unplug your existing control box. And then the first thing we're going to do is once you've identified your head and your foot motor, you'll follow that cord. I've already cut mine, but that would be attached to this box. Um, you can leave the plug in your box just in case for any reason you've been able to find something down the road, your remote is found later and you wanted to switch back to the old model. So I'll usually leave four inches or so on my cuts and just leave your existing plugs connected to the control box. But um, go ahead and cut that wire. I've got just a cheap pair of lever cutters or uh, of wire cutters that on Amazon were like $15. You can find less expensive ones, but these ones are really nice because it allows you to strip back the entire encasing of the unit without cutting into your wires underneath there. So depending on the bed, you'll have a few different cords. Generally three, four, five, six, seven is gonna be pretty common. The tricky thing is we don't know which of these wires will control the up and the down. All the other ones are superfluous. They're not needed for anything. One easy thing that I've learned is sometimes if you get a little thicker wires, like on these ones, you can see the blue and the brown are a little bit thicker. Most likely those are going to control the head and the foot for that. So I'll usually start there and you can bend these back. But ultimately, if they're all the same, um, I'll show you how you can test a few different combinations. So you can usually strip back two or three of these with this kind of tool. You want to expose enough metal to where it's going to connect into the, the lever nuts without any issue and without the teeth closing down onto the plastic. So about a half an inch is great. Um, let's go ahead and grab some of our new conversion kits. So this one is a deluxe model that has the head and foot, it doesn't have the massage, but you can actually add that very easily. And it's the exact same process to connect the massage. On these units, you've got a little 
lever that kind of pulls up and you can see where the fat metal wire is that connects into that plug and then you can close it down. The red light will turn on. These will already be paired, but in case you need to, head up and foot up button, if you hold and press those simultaneously for five seconds, it'll flash. And then once they're done flashing, you can hear the control box click when you push any buttons. So we will pair that beforehand for you, but if you ever have like a strange power surge or something down the road and needed to repair, that's how you do it on these models, or we'll include instructions if you've chosen one of our basic or specialty kits. Um, another note, it's always smart to plug anything like an adjustable bed base or a television or a computer, those are the big three appliances, into a power surge protector. Make sure it says, protects against surges on the power strip and not just a power adapter or a surge adapter, or a, an extender strip. So uh, once you've got that connected, we're going to take these wires and slide those in. And again, we don't know which one's head and which one's foot, so we can just kind of test the different combinations. Just want to make sure that they get in there enough and that they're seated in there so that the metal, when we click down these tabs, is going to make a good connection. And then the orange and the white or the yellow are our head position. So orange would be head up. So you can push that button. And I can see that in this case, the head is definitely moving up. So we did it right. Um, if we lower it back down, you'll hear it go flat. If you didn't get as lucky as me, and let's say that we had tried the green combination, for example. I'll pull this back. Splice that, twist them together to make sure we've got a good connection. Again, in their DC current, there's no power going through these whatsoever until you actually push a button. And even when you push a button, the electrons will travel from point to point and not through your body. So getting electrocuted is impossible with this. It might get a little spark if you touch the wires while you're pushing the button, but even that isn't dangerous. So um, in this case, you can see clicking them does nothing. So an easy way to kind of go through all the different combinations, you can just leave one in. Say we're testing for blue, and then we're gonna plug the brown in here. And you don't even have to clip down the wire nuts as long as you're pushing it in enough and make sure it's connecting. You can just tap, oh, and right there you heard that it engages the motor. So you want to tap up and down to make sure that if they're reversed, like in this case, I'm pushing down and it's going up, I can simply now undo those, switch the position, and we'll be good to go. Once you've found out the correct connection for your head, the foot is going to be the exact same. So it's easy to just do the same thing. Cut your foot motor wire, find the, in this case, brown and blue, and slide them into the same slots. Um, again, the blue was our foot up and the brown was our foot down. It says that on our pairing instruction sheet. So you just have to copy the same sequence from your head down to your foot. Massage motors are easier because they usually don't have five cords. They'll have a red and a black. And in most cases, it doesn't matter what way they, they go. You just slide them in and the massage will turn on. So just like that, we've converted the bed base. Um, after you've got everything connected, we just have include a little zip cable and you can tie that somewhere safe into the frame and again you can either take your old control box off or just leave it attached in there um, on this unit we've got the massage cables already hooked up with our deluxe kit which is probably our most popular I'll show you how the remote works real quick so I'll plug that in if you tap the H or the F button down below those are your head or foot massage motors. One tap will turn it to low, second tap medium, and the third tap high, and then you'll go back. This is a timer button, so you can tap on to give you, I think it's like a 10 minute setting. Turn it off. If you go to the green, it'll give you 15, and the red will give you 30 minutes, and you can tap the head or the foot from there. To stop your motors, you can just click the time button again. To lower them flat, the one touch flat button is on the top right corner. These are programmable preset positions that will already be locked in or you can read through the paper for instructions on how to reprogram those. And then most of our remotes have a built-in flashlight, which is nice. This bottom right button, if you turn on your massage unit, it'll go through different massage modes. So sometimes it'll give you a pulse or sometimes it'll wave back and forth. So 
it's a pretty fun unit to kind of mess around with. If you look over here, we've got our different versions that we sell. Our least expensive is a basic remote that gives you up and down, both up, both down, or both flat. Um, there's no presets built into this, meaning that all of these buttons you'll just have to press and hold, which th that tells us that these two buttons do the exact same thing. So really basic, but just a good option if you need something that's simple and inexpensive and you just want your bed to be able to move up and down. You can also upgrade to adding massage units and the wave features for a little bit extra. Um, the presets still won't work on this basic kit. So if you want the presets with TV, a one touch flat, zero gravity, snore, or any other custom position, you'll have to upgrade to the deluxe kit that we showed you. Or we do make some specialty kits that will give you some additional features like the ability to have two remotes paired at the same time with one box. You can't do that with our other units. Um, you can add a Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi adapter to give you access to a smart app and even voice control or access to lumbar and pillow motors because our basic units only give you head and foot motors. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can go for more information to our website at bedremotes.com or you can send us a text at 801-809-0911. We monitor that number constantly and we'll reply to any text. It's a text line only. So if you needed to speak to somebody on the phone, you can call our office at 801-484-1007. But again, a text is a great way to reach us, 801-809-0911. Thanks so much, and let us know if we can help with anything else.